Now, another famous motorcycling name is making a comeback in our region. The Indian-owned Royal Enfield motorcycle brand is setting up a research and development base in Leicestershire. Well, the firm made a direct bid to the government for support and it'll get around a million pounds from the Regional Growth Fund. Royal Enfield will now follow in the tyre tracks of Triumph and Norton. Michael Sullivan has this report. On the streets of Delhi, a classic motorbike brand first made in the Midlands. Royal Enfield's a household name in India, where it's been manufactured since the 1950s. Production stopped in the UK in the early 1970s. Now the company's returning to establish a research base. We now expect to become a global firm, and the nerve center of, our, of this global firm is going to be in our engineering center in the UK, and we're hiring a lot of engineers, we're opening up a lot of stores in the UK. That research centre is likely to be at the former RAF base at Bruntingthorpe in Leicestershire. The company's idea qualifies for regional growth fund cash, thought to be around a million pounds. Royal Enfield is the world's oldest motorcycle brand still in production, and there are lots of them on show here at the National Motorcycle Museum in Solihull, including this vintage model that dates back to 1913. The company was formed in Redditch in Worcestershire in the 1890s, so establishing a new base in Leicestershire would bring the story full circle back to its Midlands roots. Triumph, with its headquarters and factory at Hinkley in Leicestershire, has already shown how an iconic name from the past can be revived. It was rescued in the 1990s and is now exporting all over the world. At Castle Donington, the same thing's been done with Norton, resurrecting a revered brand, here creating bespoke handmade bikes. And the boss here welcomes the arrival of Royal Enfield. It's great news that they recognise our skill set in design and engineering technology. Um, and pretty well, you know, the, the more of us, the merrier. And if that starts to create a pool of, of knowledge uh, and engineering talent within the central UK uh, on, on a global motorcycle basis, well, you know, can't, we couldn't wish for better than that. The company's also building a technology centre in Chennai in India, but hopes the Leicestershire base will be ready by the end of this year. Mike O'Sullivan, BBC East Midlands Today. And more good news now, this time for the workforce at Toyota in Derby, because they had a bit of a boost today. Three of their new cars were put under the spotlight. Two were unveiled in Switzerland. And the okay. third was unveiled back in Derby. Now that one is unique because it could be yours for the princely sum of just two pounds. Here's Joe Healy. Thrust into the spotlight today, launched at the Geneva Motor Show, the new Avensis and Auris, both built in Berniston. It's great news for our employees because the increased sales will, will actually secure the longer term future of everyone working here at the plant and also within the local supply base, which is great news for the local economy. Great news too for the 3,000 strong workforce. Last year alone, this is the number of cars they produced here at Derby, a total of more than 172,000. And over the years, we've grown accustomed to some spectacular launches here, but now we can reveal, with slightly less funfare, the third launch of today. Three, two, one. This is the Red Nose Auris. We thought it was a unique opportunity uh, working with Comet Relief to build a one-off vehicle that was very unique. We try to make our customers smile, so I think if you look at what we've produced, um, it will go a long way to putting a smile on people's faces. Complete with red leather trim, they're hoping it'll raise a million pounds in a first ever Comic Relief prize draw. This is a terrific opportunity for us. It's raising money for, for projects that we have across the UK and also across Africa, so it'll make an enormous difference to, uh, to lots of people. With tickets a couple of quid each, this red-nosed hybrid Auris could be all yours for £2. Can't promise that with one of these, though. They'll go into full production in May. Joe Healy, BBC East Midlands Today. Oh, let's hope it does raise that £1 million. So, uh, good news for our motor manufacturers, it seems, whether on two or four wheels. Earlier, Mike asked the chief executive of the East Midlands Chamber of Commerce why rivals seem to like sticking together in one area. 
Well, the motor manufacturing industry in the UK is actually worth four and a half billion pounds to us and clearly we have a very substantial proportion of it here in, in the East Midlands uh, and that's really really good news indeed um, what you do find is that other investment will come where existing companies are succeeding um, so, so we can think that there will there will be an expansion of manufacturing there'll be more companies coming in and therefore more jobs uh, for, for people in the area it's the cluster factor I suppose indeed yes um, and the fact that you've got critical mass in relation to skills so engineers are very happy to relocate into this area because they have got a variety of employers they could potentially go and work for.